So, I woke up to some pretty disappointing news, Bears Nation. Apparently, Tevin Jenkins, the Bears left guard, is injured and is going to miss a prolonged period of time, potentially well into the first month of the season. Per Bears reporter Brad Biggs, Tevin Jenkins is dealing with some leg injury that could potentially sideline him for up to six weeks. This is just absolutely devastating to hear as Tevin is a guy who has had an extensive injury history from his hips to his back to his neck. Now it's some leg issue. And this is extremely surprising. It really caught me off guard because Tevin Jenkins didn't even play in the preseason game. He was playing in the last joint practice against the Colts on Thursday. He even interviewed with the media after practice and told it how he was proud of himself for being resilient and durable. Well, apparently something was off and we did not know about it. Maybe he didn't know about it. Now, this is just pure speculation. Do not take this part as truth. But from what I read, it's potentially something that he injured at the start of camp and he tried to play through it thinking that it wasn't serious and it ended up catching up to him. At some point when camp did start, Tevin Jenkins left with the medical staff and he ended up coming back to practice either that day or the next day. I can't remember, but we got worried at the time and then he came back and we were like, okay, it's no big deal. Potentially, that could have been what is going on now. It could have been something that stuck around that he played through and now it either made it worse or it just kept lingering. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I have no idea what this injury is, when it happened or how it happened. All I know is that this is just devastating news that he's going to be missing such amount of time. So what does this mean for the Chicago Bears moving forward without Tevin Jenkins? So there's three potential candidates to fill in for his spot. First and foremost, Lucas Patrick. For whatever reason, this organization absolutely loves this dude. I think it has more to do with his personal relationship with maybe Luke Getze. I think Ryan Poles loved his tape from the Packers. And I'm not taking any of that away from him. He did have a really decent time when he was with the Green Bay Packers. He was that top interior guy. He had some pretty good tape. He was nasty. He was mean. He was a leader. So when the Bears signed him, I was excited. But he did nothing for the Bears. He ended up getting injured, so he couldn't play center. We moved him to guard, and he was basically a revolving door at guard. So coming into camp, he was slotted in at that main right guard spot when, Tev when Nate Davis was missing time. And he's been injured as well. So I don't even know if he's going to be healthy for week one, but I would fear, maybe fear is kind of a dramatic word to say, but I think the team might put Lucas Patrick there if he's healthy for week one. But me personally, I would prefer Jatiri Carter. I think Jatiri Carter earned his spot with the starting offensive line when someone is injured. Well, one of the guards, at least. He played left guard last season. He moved to right guard this season. He played in place of Nate Davis, who missed all of camp besides the last week, and Lucas Patrick, who, like I said, was injured. And in their places, Jatiri Carter absolutely balled out. He had an amazing first preseason game against the Tennessee Titans, and he had a pretty good game against the Colts as well. He's been good at joint practices. I think Jatiri Carter should be our top backup guard. I think he should be filling in for Tevin Jenkins. The third candidate is going to be Alex Leatherwood, who has been the backup left guard all throughout camp. And even during camp when Tevin Jenkins went out the first time with an injury and the second time he went off the field to throw up at one point, Alex Leatherwood was the guy who was in at left guard for Tevin Jenkins. Me personally, I believe that that was just camp. I think camp depth chart is going to be different than the season depth chart. Right now you have a second team offensive line and everybody stays in their position and learns their position. But during the season, the backup guy is the backup guy. I think your backup guard should be the backup left guard and the backup right guard. And Jatari Carter can't snap, but if he could, he'd be the backup center as well. So it's kind of how Lucas Patrick was the backup center, left guard and right guard. He's the top interior guy. I think that should be Jatari Carter, at least for the guards for now. But it is remain to it remains to be seen. And Alex Leatherwood definitely put some good tape out during camp playing in the left guard position. So it's up to the it's up to the coaching staff to figure out who they want in place of Tevin Jenkins. It can be any of the three between Lucas Patrick to Tyree Carter and Alex Leatherwood. 
again me personally i would like to see jatari carter i think he absolutely earned it and that storyline would just be fun because ryan poles drafted jatari carter in the seventh round last year in the same draft that he hit on Braxton Jones, the starting left tackle in the fifth round, the same draft that he found Kyler Gordon and Jaquan Brisker, and the starting punter Trenton Gill, that would just solidify a home run draft in the very first draft of Ryan Pohl's career as the Bears general manager. So if Jatari Carter turns out to be a guy, man, that draft class is just going to look all the more better for Ryan Poles. I would love to see it. I think it's a, I think it's the right choice to put Jatari there. I, I'm almost excited to see Jatari play and see what he has because who knows? He's a young guy. What if he ends up being a long-term starter for the Bears and he just takes, you know, two, three years to develop into a starter? And that's more than okay because there's plenty of guys in the NFL who have been undrafted or late round picks who turned out to be studs. Eagles center Jason Kelsey, I believe, was like a sixth round draft pick, and now he's a Hall of Fame center. So I think Jatari Carter earned his shot. Now, that's just the options as far as inside the team. Ryan Poles can still go out and sign a guy. You have a veteran free agent in Dalton Risner, Reisner, however you say his name. I think he is the top guard on the market right now. So he could potentially join the team and be that main guy for Tevin Jenkins, or he could pick somebody up off of waiver wires. There are cuts coming up from other teams, but to me, picking up a guy who's getting cut from a team that he didn't really show much, like, you know, guard is guard. With linebackers, linebacker um, Michael Walker, who the Bears got, he was drafted to play in a 4-3, and then they changed the defense to a 3-4, so he was out of scheme. Linemen, I don't I'm not really sure that's much of the same case. It is a little bit because the Bears run a zone scheme, so they like athletic linemen. So maybe an athletic lineman who is on a team that likes their linemen big, beefy, and strong that can just pass block all day and they end up cutting an athletic guy, maybe. I just don't see a team cutting a guy and putting them on waiver wire that's going to be somebody who the Bears can just plug in as a day one starter in place of Tevin Jenkins. So... I'm not sure how the guard market is. I think Dalton Risner is going to be the best option as far as free agents go. But again, even in that situation, I still think Jatari Carter showed against, uh, maybe they weren't all starting defensive linemen, but with his time with the Bears first team O-line, he looked pretty good. So again, we're just going to have to wait and see what is going on with Tevin, what the exact injury is. Is there going to be surgery required? Is this something he just has to rehab through? Is he actually going to be out a full six weeks? Can he come back sooner? Will it be potentially longer than six weeks? We have no idea. So we're just going to have to wait till more details get out. And we're just going to have to wait and see who the Bears put in his place to start week one against the Packers because that is a huge game and the Bears cannot afford to mess around. They can't afford to experiment. They have to protect Justin Fields. So just had to hop on here and give you guys the news and the quick rundown of what it means for the Bears. If you enjoy my update videos, feel free to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this whole Tevin Jenkins situation. So stay tuned for my next update video. In the meantime, go ahead and click on one of my previous videos and I'll see you guys there.